Well, the three mile five furlong Moors Million Chase, named after Paul Moors, one of the founding fathers of the uh, National Hunt League, um, who sadly passed away. One is Weeby Clarity for Martin Needham, two Lintz, Darren Thompson, three's Right on Q, David Hoody, uh, four is Molly Awesome, Malik Cherry, five Classic Bang, Dave Hoody, six Another Way, Obi Wan, seven Cottage Rake, Craig Beckwith, eight Finding Alice Martin Needham, nine is Southside, Kevin Meenigan, ten Boomerang Armin, Graham Clatterback. Uh, 11 is Timeland Vale, Graham Clutterbag, and the other, the other of Patrick Hogan is Thistle Down the Window. So away they go in the Moors National, and We Be Clarity up the outside is the leader. From on the inside of that is um, Graham Clutterbag's Timeland Vale. They're all in a line just behind that. Cottage Rake for Craig Beckwith on that one's outside is Molly Awesome. Then comes another way, right on cue uh, for. Dave Hoody, ahead of his stable companion Classic Ben, then comes Lintz with Thistle Down the Window out wide, Boomerang Armin on that one's outside in the back of the field, Finding Alice for Martin Leadham. So three mile five furlongs, a lot of jumps, they all jumped that, oh no there's a faller, this better, this better one the Window has gone, Thistle Down the Window gone for Patrick Hogan and Weeby Clarity the leader, so uh, Patrick Hogan who's making an appearance in the National Hunt League again. Um, this will under window and unseated at the last. They jumped this and most of them were okay, although not in landing from right on cue and Classic Bang also wasn't that great over that field, both they really horses. So Weeby Clarity, the leader for Martin Needham, won the Grand National last year. Molly Orsip in second for Alex Cherry. Up on the rail, that's the grey horse, Tomlin Vale for Graham Clutterbuck. The green colours on the outside is Southside for Kevin Minigan. Uh, in between horses, another way for Obi-Wan. They jumped the next and a terrible blunder by the leader. Weeby Clarity walks through that. Molly Awesome is lucky still to be standing. Weeby Clarity up on the inside. Tomlin Vale has got close, and in fact, Tomlin Vale has now got to lead. And Weeby Clarity after that uh, bad jump at the last has been joined by Molly Awesome in second. There comes another way for Obi One. Darren Thompson also is getting closer. Slow jump by the leader. Another stuttering jump by Weeby Clarity who's not been jumping well at all. So it's Molly Awesome leader from Tomlin Vale up on the rail for Martin Leadham. Then comes Weeby Clarity out wide. Another way behind that. Lindsay's travelling well for Darren Thompson. Craig Beckworth horses. Cottage Rake is right there. In between horses the second uh, Martin Leadham horse is finding Alice. The green colours out wide is south side and that one's out side is Boomerang Armin. And the two Dave Hood horses at the back of the field are right on cue and Classic Ben. So change up front, Alex Cherry's Molly Awesome has gone to the front from Weeby Clarity who's jumped in, has let him down. Up on the rail is Tomlin Vale for Graham Clutterbuck. Then about a six in line or five in line should I say, it's Lentz, the lead, Lentz on the inside from Cottage Rake. Finding Alice in between horses, the green colours is uh, south side. Right out one is Boomerang Armand. And just beyond those is another way. At the back of the field, the two lilac and colours with the black caps. Those are Dave Hoody's horses, right in queue and classic Ben and he's making a challenge for the title of the season on the National Hunt. It's Weeby Clarity, the leader. Gone back up to the front, has jumped poorly and made some bad mistakes, but has gone back to the lead from Tomlin Vale. Um, right and right, Boomerang Armen, the two Graham Clutterback horses are second and third. Beyond that is another way. They jump the next and a good jump this time by Weeby Clarity. And it's Weeby Clarity for Martin Leadham, the leader for Molly Awesome in second for Alex Cherry, the orange sleeves, orange cap up the center of the track. On that one's inside is another way. That's Alex Cherry, uh, that's uh, Abby Wan's horse. Right out wide is Boomerang Armen, that's uh, trading a white horse. Move closer now, he's right on cue. Was at the back, on that outside of that one, it's a grey horse, south side. Uh, in between horses is finding Alice in the red colours and yellow cap. They jumped the one, they all jumped that well. Um, uh, slightly so at the back was Cottage Rake. Just ahead of Cottage Rake is a is a Tomlin Vale who was up in second place has dropped through the field now as they jump the next a good jump by the second horse another way as they come past the stands for the penultimate time and they head out on their final circuit they pass the winning post um, this time round next time will be the end of the race so it's Weeby Clarity the leader 
from another way in second. On the outside of that, Southside has started to creep closer for uh, Kevin Minigan, who's been travelling well. Uh, Classic Ben has come from the back of the field and moved up into a joint third now as a jump the next, and a bad jump by uh, Cottage Rake for Craig Beck, but it's dropped to the back of the field as a result of that. So we be clarity the leader from Southside in second. Then comes another way for Obi-Wan. On that one's outside is Classic Ben. Molly Awesome just behind that. Then comes Finding Others from Martin Lee in the yellow sleeves. The yellow cap with the red colours. Out wide, uh, been wide the whole race is Boomerang Armin. So that one's inside is right on cue. Uh, Lentz is going well enough for Darren Thompson. Uh, um, Cottage Rake has made a few mistakes, but he's still in with a chance. And uh, for some time, and Vale has dropped to the back of the field. The grey horse for Graham Clatter, but he's only about six ends off this leader. Weeby Clarity as they jump the next. Weeby Clarity over it well. A bad jump for Classic Ben has allowed um, Cottage Rake to pass that one. Also, Stable Companion on the outside, right on cue, moving well. Lens up the inside. Weeby Clarity, Southside. Slow jump by Southside. Loses a few positions. It's Weeby Clarity, but now Cottage Rake has come from the back of the field to try and throw down the challenge. Molly Awesome is back in third. It's always been there about. Then Classic Ben and um, right on cue, the two Dave Hooley horses. Boomerang Armin has always travelled wide. The grey horse and that one's inside. The green colours is south side. Then comes Obi-Wan's another way. Lentz is up the inside with Tom and Vale on the rail and finally Alice has dropped to the back of the field with seven phones left to go and four fences left to jump. It's Weeby Clarity now being joined by Cottage Rake and it's the uh, Craig Beckworth Cottage Rake who goes to the front from Weeby Clarity. Molly Awesome just behind it. Then comes another way. Making a move from the back of the field is Tomlin Vale and it's the grey horse Tomlin Vale who's come through up on the inside for Graham Clatterbuck and Tomlin Vale pokes his head in front. With six furlongs left to travel. Tomlin Vale the leader from Cottage Rake in second. Out wide Weeby Clarity now being pushed along. Then Molly Awesome. Uh, Boomerang Armin has always tracked the wide course on the inside. That is right on cue. Being pushed along now is another way. Lentz is trying to move closer. Only about three lengths off them. Then comes Classic Ben. Southside dropped to the back of the field and being passed now by Finding Alice. But there's only about five lengths first to last. So all of them have some sort of a chance. They come to the next. Uh, good jump by most. It's particularly Southside. Again, Lentz in the field. It's Tomlin Vale and Weeby Carity. Southside making a strong forward move up the outside of the track it's time and fail for Graham Clatterback in between horses is Weeby Clarity out wide Kevin Minigam south side they come to the next south side jumps it particularly well and as south side now hits the front from Cottage Rake for, for Craig Beckworth then comes Weeby Clarity trying to plug on it's south side for Kevin Minigan from Cottage Rake Weeby Clarity behind them with right on cue Tom and Bell is that enough it's a south side in front for Kevin Minigan the grey horse with the green colours Kevin Minigan south side as they come to the last, Sasa jumps it well from the Cottage Rake up the inside. Then comes right on cue. It's South Side in the lead for Kevin Meanigan from Cottage Rake as they come past the stands. This is the final jump. Sasa jumps it well enough, and Sasa is going to win this from Cottage Rake in second. Right on cue. He's going to finish back in third for Dave Hoody, and then comes Finding Alice. So Kevin Meanigan wins that race. Wins the poor Moors Millions, qualifies for the final. Sasa, the winner from, I think, Craig Beckwith was uh, finished back in second. Cottage Rake finished in second. Right NQ finished third. And Weeby Clarity finished fourth. I think the first four qualified. Might be the first five. Um, if the first five qualified, Boomerang Armin had trotted a wide course the whole way, finished back in fifth. And maybe the first qualifier, yeah, Darren Royal. That's me for today.